Welcome back to my Let's Play for Tales of Legenda. And I have to admit, this puzzle box stumped me for a while. It's really bloody annoying. Um, it's got very set path requirements to solve, so it takes forever. You basically have to work your way incrementally knocking down blocks. Which is pretty obvious, but then you have to move them all in a certain spot, and which was less obvious. Because the way they fall, you think you have to go this route, but instead you have to go paisley straight up the center uh, which means moving a lot of bo blocks around much to my annoyance it's doable it's time consuming I mean, if you know what you're doing this is going to be time consuming you got to constantly move so many freaking blocks around okay Because with the way this block falls, like you think you'd go for an outside grab, but no, you're just shy of that, so it's like they're taunting you. Well, move this one around. Might as well get that other one out from the back, because we're going to have to move it at some point anyway. Okay, come on, fall. And then we gotta pull this one, I guess. Well, I don't technically have to grab this one, but might as well. It'll put it a bit closer to where I'd like it for later. Come on, around the block. Come on. There we go. Then another push, and bam, we're done with that. Yeah, this took me about 40-some minutes to figure out. Because I got so hung up on coming from this very specific side. Which just screwed me. So now you know, you gotta stop and think outside the box. Doesn't really matter which of these sides you come from, but I'll go with this one. Not for any particular reason, I just feel like coming from that side. Okay. Come on. One more. Come on, grab it! I feel like I'm talking to a dog here or something. <sighs> Don't you dare defy me, you grab that block. Get you with the newspaper. No, I wouldn't actually hit a dog with a newspaper, but still. You see it in movies all the time. And some people are into that kind of thing. I, I don't, I'm not going to name names, though, because I really don't want to get dragged into that kind of debate. And I don't know how um, confirmed that story is anyway, but moving on. Okay, let's see. Well, let's go around first. Get this one. Jeez, it's still gonna take me about five minutes to solve this puzzle, and that's knowing the exact placements it takes way too long. Okay, work this one out. This way. We're gonna have to go around and pull it up. Jeez. Grab it. Grab it. Darn you. Come on, grab it. No, I did grab it, I let go of it. Ah, jeez. Like as bad as Lacey when it comes to grabbing these blocks, I swear. Yeah, Lacey doesn't like grabbing stuff usually either. She's like, what, you expect me to pick something up and bring it to you? Are you crazy? She's like, 
My fun's having you guys chase me down. I'm not picking things up for you. Darn it. Should have moved him differently. I need to basically push that one around. Okay, I'll go grab just a bit further. Come on. Jeez. Come on. Pick it up. Don't make me hurt you, game. You won't like it. Because it involves a microwave. Okay. And then, boom. I guess we can yank this one down anyway. In case it's just barely blocking us off. Come on, get in it. I don't want to sit out here anymore. Let's go. Huh. Jeez. Like six and a half minutes to solve one bloody puzzle. Gosh darn it. Oh, yeah, I remember this room. Anything interesting in here? No, well, they found a monster, at least. <sighs> I guess it makes sense. I mean, there was a monster attack here last time. Love bird, eh? I mean, it's really Big Bird in disguise. We all know Big Bird's full of love. The kids, you know? He's got to teach them all the stuff they need to know on Sesame Street. Jeez. Okay. Take him down. This isn't even challenging. I suppose it's not really meant to be. I mean, it's a hidden monster. What do you expect? If you want hard, it's not going to be found here, usually. Play, huh? And sell learned a new title. Cool. Okay. Um, I wonder if this is new lay item at anyway. Rebirth dials, not what I'm looking for. Items, lay. Okay, so it is a fist weapon. Just where are you? Ah, so I'd take a massive decrease to attack power to equip those. So it's an item you can get, but you would never use. Because it's so weak physically. I mean, I guess you could maybe build on top of it somehow. Don't lose your heads. Don't Maybe if you customize it, it can be like one of the strongest items ever. Is the massive luck boost it gives me offers higher critical hit chance. Really like the only reason I see anyone bothering with something like that. It'd have to be a pretty big boost of critical hits to justify it. You, um, cure stas effects? Come on, Teach, do it! That's not what I wanted. I wanted to cure normal of poison, damn it. You brought this on yourself. Well, I guess it was too much to ask for. I'm not interested in that right now. Um, let's go with Ares. Okay, let's see where you at. Um, recover, right? Okay, moving on. Well, we're here, all right. Now let's start looking for the Everlight. Hmm. 
I have my doubts. No, she saw off the security alarm. Oh, this ain't gonna be fun. It's gonna be painful. She already did that. Nor don't tell me. Yeah, she touched it all right. Somehow I doubt that. Hmm. Great. Well, I doubt this one's going to be as much of a pushover as the last one. <laughs> oh, great. I need to get to the back. Ooh, throwing a rock. Okay. Okay, come on. Break her airy skills. Get rid of this bed. The we get rid of it, the better. Okay, we got rid of the bed. Now the fun part. Being this magic caster is silly. Come on. No mercy. Oh, this out. I won't allow that. Take him out, take him out, take him out. witches. Mind flare? Well, that sounds cool. Too bad I can't get some time to cast, I guess, right? Maybe you could show me how it plays mind so thoroughly to be called the Mind Flayer. Eh. So that's always a problem when you have a cooler name than you can handle. Okay. A bit more, and I guess we can hit the button. Our man is too high level for this foot. Okay. Push him off real fast. Come on. Indignation. I hate when you cast spells like that, man. I only lost half the gauge, but I'm okay with that. Oh, an elixir. What are you angry about? Those are always useful. Well, let's see if we ever have to use it. I guess. Eh, wasn't too bad. What's she gonna do this time? Hmm. Uh, of course, it's not the place. I already assumed it wasn't even the place from the get go. Let's face it. <sighs> When it comes to these character quest missions, they tend to involve vi revisiting a lot of old areas. It's really us on a wild goose chase. Well, you're already stupid, so I don't see what the problem is. <laughs> Ouch. Though, it's not as bad as what I said. Yeah, it would be little. You only know small words, Moses. <laughs> next time? Where's next time gonna take us? When it comes to Norma, there's always a next time. As far as it takes. <laughs> I move on, eh? Where are we going this time? Ah, yeah, town figures. Yeah, I guess that's admirable. Nah, she doesn't think about us at all. Oh, 
Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, well, we found a item for synthesis, I guess. There's that. Well, the fun part, right? I could have swore those led to, like, chambered rooms last time. I guess not. Let's head on out. It's gonna take forever to get back out here anyway. Even if, uh, try to take the quickest path possible. Guess I can activate a few bottles, though. that, you know. Jeez. Come on. Okay. And now I got no TP. I can live with it. I get means of cocky not running away from the enemy when I knew they were attacking. I have my moments. I was kind of asking to get fragged, and I did. Hard. <laughs> I got what I asked for. Well, it's time to get out of here. Guess we can always hit up the customization shop when we get back to town, maybe. I've been avoiding that place. I don't know why. I, mean, I do have materials for it, probably. I don't know if I can do anything cool with what I got, though. It might require a few hidden materials, and I haven't been looking for those. Like, at all. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to whip out a black bottle, aren't I? Or a white one, whichever one it is. Jeez. Just die already. Get out of the range of that attack. Oh, jeez, we're still sitting there taking them. Okay. We got the healing. I'm gonna move in. It's not perfect. As long as I can. Demon Shadow! Here Don't take your eyes off him! Okay. Just avoid the extensions, you know? Jeez. Well, back in action. Um, stop trying to hit me with poison, damn you. Awesome. Norma, what are you doing? Pineapple gel. That's what are you angry cool, about? I guess. Okay, now if only there's a quick warp out of here. Luck, eh? Well, let's see. Where would we be if I was a ball to avoid battle? Oh. Gotcha, so we can get a discount of 50% when we do that. Gotcha. Okay, holy bottle then. Just to try to lower the encounter rate a bit. Try and get out of here without being molested too much. Because I'd like to get out of here. I mean, at least it's a straightforward path back, but... <sighs> it's a time-consuming one. Because it always is. 
Well, as far as I'm concerned, circles on the ground don't necessarily mean anything. Moving on. What we got? Oh, more of these guys. This isn't all that worthwhile experience-wise, boy. Really. I just don't care to read this game. I think it's possible. You gotta, like, hug, hug the edge of the screen or something. Kinda of reminds me of, um, Lunar Dragon something. Like, there's a method for retreating. Falls apart like, healing into the lake or something, but... I hardly ever bothered with it, because most of the battles were shamelessly easy, so there's no point. Like, yes, I can shamelessly run away from this battle that I can easily win in, like, three turns. Albeit that game, you're gonna spend a lot of the later battles just spamming MP. Which gets old fast, and running away from fights by trying to avoid them. Oh, that's why I didn't take that. I can't carry it. Gotcha. Well, moving on. Uh, I think it's this way. Uh, of course we get hit by another enemy. Okay, light on me, dude. We got here. Oh, three of those things again? Don't go too far on you. Dark force! I know, I know! Well, glad you took it, not me. <laughs> I really don't want to take that hit. I feel like waiting to cast. Cast too recently earlier. Try and get out of there. Ah, uh, no, I got stuck attacking too long. I just always wish I could cancel out those attacks, you know? Ah. Uh, Way too long. <laughs> you brought this on yourself. Well, perhaps. Oh, surely got a new skill. That's cool. Hopefully, I can learn some new skills. Because <sighs> my ultimate skills are all terrible, since they all rely on countering. And this ain't Pokemon, okay? Though, ironically, Wigglytuff probably is pretty good at countering. It's going to have so much health, though. Honestly, if you're going to do that, you might as well throw it on a Chansey, because it can do everything Wigglytuff can do, and better. I feel kind of sorry for Wigglytuff. It's got all these diverse moves it can play with, but it doesn't have the stats to really pull off much of anything. I can be all kinds of things, I just ain't good enough to do Jack Squat. It's terrible. Yeah, I feel sorry for some Pokemon. Like, they have all these interesting movesets they could run if only they had the stats to make them work. Then again, I still would like to see a Pokemon game where you can use, like, six or eight moves on a Pokemon. If only because it'd offer you more um, opportunities for coverage and whatnot. But I suppose people would argue that makes certain Pokemon, like, absolutely broken because they'd be able to shove a counter on there for, like, every single type they're weak against. <laughs> Especially nowadays, so... I guess you could argue if you had access to that many moves, it would be... Too much. Well, at least we got all the ruins. Did we hit by anything else here? Nope. Eh, figures. That really doesn't mean much to me anyway. Because there's lots of places it ain't. Oh. Let's head back. It's closer to town. I'm not heading into town yet, though. Save that for next time, because I figure, you know, 
We're probably gonna get help with a lot of dialogue as soon as we return. That's usually how it goes. Till next time, then. See ya.